guys so this video is trying to prove the Fermat's last theorem in n equals to 4 special case so what we want to prove is that uh, x to the 4 plus y to the 4 equals z to the 4 has no positive integer solutions so what I mean by is that uh, x times y plus z is non zero and uh, and uh, yeah, then they are uh, both uh, both uh, positive number. Okay, okay. So this is the theorem. Okay, so let me. I, I guess I guess you guys can remember the theorem. So lemma is that the uh, Pythagorean principle, basically Pythagorean triple. Okay, so basically. Uh, Oh, basically, if you have this equation, then it must be odd, even odd. If three of x, y, z are integer, and uh, if they are co-prime, so basically, so basically, if three of them are integers and uh, they are co-prime to each other, then the only case is odd, even odd, and uh, there exist a and b which are positive integer such that x equals to a square times b square, y equals to a b z equals s square plus b square okay 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 so we can start proof the theorem suppose we have this so key point that we want to we okay so let me let me write it key point uh we somehow want to construct want to construct the three num three positive integer positive integers let me call the s theta y theta z theta such that they satisfy the same relationship but x theta is less than s y theta is less than y z theta is less than z if we can prove that then we can show that there is no solution and the reason is that the reason is that uh, every time you have a solution you have you have an integer solution and you can construct another integer solutions but which are smaller than the original one uh, all of the components are smaller than the or original one so once you keep doing this then you will keep finding the smaller smaller small integers but integer cannot be smaller because integer is bound cannot be arbitrary small because integer has bounded below okay so this is a key point okay so let me start Okay, so uh, step one is that uh, uh, I can write it as this. I first suppose that the x, y, z's are. Okay, so so I use this y. Uh, x, y, z's are are prime to e uh, prime to each other. So there is exists the m and w such that at uh, m and n such that this is correct. So from here, what we have n plus okay so what we can do is that I can write n equals to rs and x equals to r square minus s square and the em just equals r square plus s square okay so this is the stupid step one okay and then from here from here what we have is y square divided by 2 equals to m times n so this tell you that y square divided by 4 equals to m divided by uh, m times n divided by 2 Okay, so remember that. Uh, so remember that uh, then the uh, m m is prime, uh, m is co-prime to e, m is co-prime to n. Right, m is co-prime to n. So m is co-prime to n divided by two. Okay, so which tell you that the, uh, which tell you that m must be. M m must be square, uh, m and m divided by two must be square because this is a square. Okay, so the key key points this equation tell you that m must be something square. M must be something square. Okay. So this is the case that uh, m is equal to. Uh, uh, I can write it. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Okay. So please tell you that m is square. N divided by two is square. Okay, so I write 
and uh, since n divided by 2 is square, so you, you see this n divided by 2 is r. So who should tell you that r is square? s is square. Okay, so from here, from here, that uh, you can write, you can write r is u square, s equals v square. And then you notice that you notice that uh, m is equal to r square plus s square. So this tells you that u to the fourth plus v to the fourth is equal to m. And then don't forget m is a square. Okay, so we have some we have uh, something I call it e. So we have e square, e square equals to u to plus four v plus four. And uh, our original equation is this. But we can we can just write this d to the four to the z to the cube to the cube. So you, so we start from this format, couple uh from my two poles to the another from my two poles. And then from this derivation, you see that uh, u must be x u is just less than r, so less than x, and then v also less than s, and then less than y, uh, y. Okay. So from here, we know that there's no solution. So the finish is done. The the proof is done. There's no solution. Uh, for format n equals to four. Okay. So this is the proof. And probably next time I will provide an equal to three proof, but but definitely it's much more difficult. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video.